Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Big part of this stuff, too. Yeah, man. Salute to the live shows. No, man. no, Salute this to the one. Motherfucking live shows. We did them first yeah. two, and we probably. The next offer was probably triple or triple or four times more than what originally what it was to sell the shit. So yeah, yeah, is that the new move, bro? I mean, far as like you see a lot of rappers Hell getting yeah. deals, you see a lot of niggas getting tours. Is that the new a lot of comedians? Now it's the now it's the content creators. Now it's the cats. You, you know see what, I mean? what these niggas is getting right now? Aiden Ross and Man. these kick deals and shit. I just can't shit. Act like they just got a hell of a deal. Yeah. They did. Yeah. They, 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 they said Aiden, Aiden, Aiden Ross. Um, Got more than LeBron's uh, salary. Mm. Damn. Yeah. God damn. You can breathe. Little white boy over this bullshit all night. Nah, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about it, man. You got the youth, damn. right? And the people, they're not paying just for the talent. They paying for their data. Yeah. So if you can have 50,000 people watching you every night. That's fifty thousand people that they can sell some shit That's to. Right. So they getting that motherfucking data. It's crazy. Man. Wow. What do you think is the next move to make you you guys go to the next level? Man, honestly, just more outside content. Okay. More shows because the podcast side of it is cool, but all I wanted to do from the get go was try different shit as well too. So that's why the food show works so good. Yeah, and we got a lot of other ideas that we about to start filming the shit yeah. too. It's more expensive. But now we got it to, to film and do what we got to do. Yeah. But it's, those outside shows is, is important. It's important. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the real content. You got to think about it. Like, how many podcasts do we do they have now? Man. Everybody million, got one there, right? Million. So what separates every single person from just sitting at a table, talking, yep. having topics, and doing that? It's the other shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yep. So it could be the nigga, hey, boss talk, go to eat, go get some ribs from over here. Hey, boss talk goes over here and go venture and shit too. So yeah. I've been showing a lot of the vlogs just to see it and people are like, oh, I love that lane for you and yeah. shit too. Trying different things and yeah. doing shit like going to DR. <clears throat> I'm scared of heights. I'm I'm eating dinner in the sky. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. Shout out to Sam Colder. He, them mm -hmm. guys figured it out real. I don't know if you know Sam Colder, but them guys, like, they travel and do different things and make it look dope and make it look live, and they make money by yeah. just being niggas that travel. Yeah, these networks, see you, so like, you, these you networks just, will get, get, you know, pick that up. Yeah, Put yeah. it on their platform yeah. as well, too, so. That's, that's dope. Crazy. That's dope. They see you. They already know you got talent. They, 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 yeah. they hear a nigga music. They know what you would do behind this microphone. Man, they want to see how the fuck you live in. They want to see where you going. They want to see, you know, they want to see a nigga jury shopping. They didn't want to see any fucking just anything. anything. They no. just want to see your life. But that's why that live. vlogging is important. Though. Yeah, you most so definitely. Everywhere you go now, just, it's just get something. Yeah. Bring the I camera. I just dropped my first vlog of the day. You see, I dropped my vlog, me and Mo3's son. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, went, I, went, yeah. I went and got Mo3's son, the late great Mo3. I went and got his son, took his son out to do all kind of shit. I, I want to show people what I'm doing behind the scene. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? A lot of things I'm doing to help a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of different people in Dallas, a lot of fallen soldiers, a lot of rappers. So, yeah, I feel you where you're coming from, bro. People see you talking, but they want to see what, you know, what the fuck you got going on outside. That's that real personality and shit. Yeah. I think it's content over creates the same thing Gary V, yes. was, Gary v yeah. was doing that like early on I love his movement where you can see everything that Gary V was incredible yeah. Yeah. He was I think he paved the way for a lot of us I give him his kudos because yeah. a lot of stuff I seen him doing I knew I would do in my own way yeah. and it was going to come off different because I'm a different color but at the end of the day it's still content you yeah. know what I mean yeah, most ever, yeah. so Real shit. I think Real that's shit. hard bro like nah, man. And, and so when I looked you up this time, I'm researching. You know, I seen when you was young, you and you and YG had a, your little beef when y'all oh, were high sure. school. Y'all were yeah. high school beefing. You niggas really, y'all weren't gonna do nothing really, just real tough. Yeah, no, we was, we, was all, we was all some shit. It's crazy because I, I was I was with him at the concert yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Like that's my guy. But you know, it's it's kind of a similar situation of like why I'm here and you know getting to with Charleston and now me and Charleston cool. It's the same type of situation. Same thing with yeah. YG. Yeah, I man. I, I told you, I always <laughs> what it, doing but, some but shit. You, you yeah. was young. What made you go? Well, I guess because you just, you, you were like 50 Cent. You just went, with every, went at everybody. Yeah. That's, that's what, what 50 that's did. What, yeah. Just yeah. like, I'm going to just go at any nigga yeah. that's, so, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, before <laughs> niggas was really game banging, we had clicks okay. in the city. And a lot of them clicks, YG was part of like the biggest click. Okay. And I was trying to come up rapping, trying to get a name for myself. So the niggas that I knew I was cool with, they were all together and then they split up. And then YG and his people, they were just dissing them. And I'm like, y'all niggas ain't gonna strike back. Yeah. You feel me? So none of these niggas knew me. And I was like, look, give me a list of their names with everybody name on there. Yeah. Tell me something unique about them. I'm gonna diss these niggas. You feel me? Yeah. So I went and dissed every single person on that list and put that motherfucker up on MySpace. How hard did you go on YG? Niggas in MySpace. How hard did you go on him? I said some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them niggas up. Yeah. Yeah, I said some <laughs> shit. But 
the respect came because he was the only person that dissed me back. Yeah. Oh, okay. So nobody else said nothing. No, nobody else said nothing. So he the only one had hard enough. Yeah, to say he was so. the one like nigga, fuck you too, oh, nigga. nigga rap, so man. we start going back and forth and shit. Yeah. So this the early YG before the hit. This is this, this before, way before, way before the hit. Hey, way see, before the hit. Even even when that happened, I'm going back and forth with him. We got mutual friends and shit like that. It was like some real problems, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was the only single person. And then later on, he was the like out of our generation, the first to get a record deal. He hit hard. So when he yeah. got the record deal, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. It went up. I didn't diss this nigga, you feel me? I'm already on I'm the- never gonna get that <laughs> right. I'm yeah, never gonna yeah, get Nigga ain't doing me on a remix. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm never gonna come hey, up out of LA. I'm, I'm already on the wrong track. But, <laughs> but once he got signed, you know what I'm saying? I put all that shit to the side and yeah. I was just, hey look, we need somebody because somebody that look like us, where we come from, got an opportunity now. I gotta give my full support. So just immediately, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was just supporting him, supporting him, supporting him. Every time he dropped a song, yeah. album, I was, I mean, not album, but mixtape, was doing it. You feel me? And YG's one of our greats. Yeah, he is. In the city. Yeah. And then, you know, later on, we in the studio, and we just started talking about the past, and we was chopping it up for like, like an hour. Yeah. Then he was just like, hey, I want you to listen to my second album. This is after his first album. His after first album went crazy. That's a classic. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, I want you to hear this shit on my album. I said, all right, cool. I go to the studio, I go to the, um, to the lab with him. He put me on his second album. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that was a live. full circle moment. And yeah. then doing videos and us, and I'm like, that's my guy. Like, I don't care what nobody say about him. Like, nigga, that's my homie for life. Yeah, that's and, crazy. And same type of situation. I'm like, it may have started off a crazy way, but look where it led to now. And just to see yesterday, we chilling at the Beyonce concert. And yeah, I see yeah, everybody man. talking about, oh, bro, it. y'all yeah. doing y'all thing. You doing your thing. Why'd you doing this thing? He come perform. AD, what's up? And it's like, nigga, it, it just all came together Full at the circle. end of the day. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow. The crazy <laughs> thing is, like, even with you being with the Clover G's yeah, and yeah, hanging yeah. with Flip Nim and doing Sound, all yeah, this yeah, stuff, it's Flip crazy that, nigga, yeah. that, you know, like, everybody, it's funny how all these years go by and you guys still find a way to reinvent, recreate yeah. your whole yeah. Image come up with something that people can really look at and be like, damn man, they doing this now. So it's really like y'all got a fan base, and so y'all just take them with you wherever you go, right? Yeah. Shout out to Flip too, cause he looked out for my big homie. Really? Yeah. Back in the day, OG Suicide for sure, for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah he salute, looked out for, him, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my nigga. Yeah, salute to the whole Clover G, yeah, the whole Clover gang. G, whole man, Clover G, the, the whole yeah. gang, man. Like so, even man, listen too. I got, I got to I got to give respect to uh, Paul Wall as well too. Man. Hey, shout out to Bob yeah, Paul Wall, Paul Wall Beast, man. man. He did a he did a song for me and did a video a long time ago too. Really? Like, yeah, look yeah. out for me, bro. Rob what Kardashian. Was the name of the song? It's called. It's, 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 we got a video too. It's called uh, Wide Open, something like that. Ride around the city, got these haters in my rear view. Play dumb, but on my mama got a. Cl- really, Rob Kardashian. You did some of yeah, bro. music. Oh, what about Rob Kardashian? You said what? Rob Kardashian. Let me use his uh, uh, what's that car again? Uh, with the M. Fucked up right now. Maserati, now. Nah. He let me use his yeah. Maserati oh, yeah. shit at Maserati. the time. Yeah, me and Paul Wall, so. Yeah, yeah man. Pull up poking with the sunroof smoking. On the folk floating with a chick D throat. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.